From when I started back in January and up to today. That difference has been driven by hyperbaric oxygen therapy. For years, the Pentagon and the VA have been studying it to help veterans cope with PTSD. Usually, the therapy helps divers with decompression sickness or the bends. It uses a pressurized chamber filled with pure oxygen to remove air bubbles from a person's blood. Only on 13 News Now, reporter Megan Shen explains how the treatment is helping local veterans. At Hampton Roads Hyperbaric Therapy, Sarah Stolman has treated more than 50 Hampton Roads veterans. All right, James, you can put your hood on. It's like a gray version of themselves when they come in. A lot of them with various levels of traumatic brain injury. When patients get a mild traumatic brain injury, it knocks blood flow out of certain areas of the brain. All right, James, here we go. The 90-minute treatments in this pressurized 100% oxygen chamber stimulates blood flow and healing with stem cell production. There may be some dead tissue, but most of the tissue is just lacking enough oxygen. So it kind of goes into hibernation mode, and this can go on for years and years and years. HBOT treatments typically cost around two to $6,000. <coughs> Veteran support groups like N22 cover the cost for Hampton Road service members. I'm a uh, eight and a half year Navy veteran. I served another six years in the Air National Guard. So I've got um, roughly 14 years of military service. James Skarin was an aircraft firefighter, and he has been waiting a while to do this treatment. But living wasn't easy. And nobody could explain what was going on with me. Skarin had signs of kidney damage, short-term memory, high anxiety, trouble sleeping, and balance issues. Insomnia was real bad for me, and, and I wouldn't... Just the memory brings him to tears. <clears throat> Let's spread the word. Let's get our vets some help, man. Documenting his journey on Facebook Live, Scarin went through all 40 treatments. Like, how would you describe how you felt before and after? For me, it was almost a rebirth. Stolman says she gave him a test to measure his brain function before and after the eight weeks. For eight weeks, seeing the changes, I was just like, why is this not covered? This is an amazing treatment and these people are getting their lives back. This January, the Department of Defense released a report rejecting the effectiveness of HBOT for mild traumatic brain injury in service members. Research psychologist Tom Fox has been in the clinical hyperbaric oxygen field for 30 years. You know, if the results are there, why is the DOD not supporting this? I think it's a matter of cost, to be quite honest. If you look at the estimates of this, 40% of those that have served in the theater of combat for four months or greater could be at risk for this. And if you multiply that out, that, that gives you a figure of about 800,000 to 1.2 million. Fox says TBIs can be caused by dramatic pressure changes, like an explosion in combat environments. Those big pressure changes also cause neurological decompression sickness, like divers get and is treated with HBOT. There's significant change from baseline in all these guys delivered. But at least three VA studies cite placebo effects of HBOT treatments on military members. And I personally believe that hyperbaric will be a covered indication for traumatic brain injury in the future. It is in other countries. Until then, we are here to help people now. Those people like Scarin say they'll keep advocating for it because the results are greater than words. What's the most emotional part about this journey? Feeling human again, feeling like I'm I'm going to be okay. In Norfolk, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.